My name is Sonia Sanchez and I'm here this Sunday at Tindy Temple to hear a most magnificent sound, a joyful noise. I had to close my eyes the whole time to keep my body on ground because I kept floating every time that they sang, every time they played, every time that they made that joyful noise, that joyful sound. Former mayor, give him an amen. Come on. My sweet, which you call a joyful noise, it's a jazz sacred suite. In my spirit, I had been wanting to write some music in, in the religious or spiritual idiom, and when it became a reality for me that I should really get down to business, for sure, for sure, to compose uh, a lengthy amount of music that would encompass jazz, spiritual, gospel, blues, and a few things in between. I had to call on all my forces to get all of this work together. When we are playing, that's when we're praying the hardest. Music itself, and all of its vernacular is a spiritual because we believe it's the Almighty's private tongue. I was so enthralled with the idea that my little group was together, my wife and my two children, and we were all performing in this beautiful musical work. Uh, this is my gang in sequence. That's when we were three, and this is when we were four. Our son, T.C. the Third, he's a vocalist from all genres since he was born. He's chosen to try to find his star singing jazz. Psalm 150 is extremely musical. I like the way it flowed. It, it felt right to me musically. I could hear music on it, and so I chose that one, Psalm 150, for the original writing. That is always a highlight of the suite. No matter where we do it and what kind of audience we have, he kicks it out. current 
performance of the work. I decided that I wanted to include our daughter, Anisha, in it. She's a, a beautiful lady and sings gorgeously. The logic of that being is that Mr. C, her father, is part and parcel of it. Uh, her brother, TC, has been in it every time. And with her being able to carry her own vocal weight, I decided I wanted her in it. And again, I did some research with the Psalms and chose Psalm 100 for several reasons. First of all, it starts out, make a joyful noise. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. And that kind of sold it for me because I decided I was going to open it. That would be the opener. Make a joyful noise to the sweet entitled A Joyful Noise. Make a Joyful Noise is about life. Each and everything in that has to do with the life that, that I have lived. After Anisha sings Psalm 100, the second one is called Dressing for Church, and I reflected on that back from my own childhood and my family, scrambling around with one bathroom in South Philadelphia, dressing for church, pulling drawers open, trying to get breakfast getting out to church. And that, hopefully, that composition reflects that kind of animation. When I was dealing with the tune called We Believe, a witch's gospel, I wanted it really in that blues gospel tradition that would put it over as I, as I felt it. And, and I thought Barbara was just the first one that came to mind in those terms. She has what it takes. She's just my girl, and that she's done every one of them with us. Too. That was just like a given for Barbara to do. We believe. And then shout is a new one as of the last performance. I could hear her doing that. 
That's where Barbara came from. Whenever, whenever I need something shout or real soulful and gutty blues or gospelish, if Barbara's available, that's my girl for that. The gossip segue represents what happens in um, the black Baptist churches so much of the time. I grew up black Baptist, and there is a gossip, a, a silent gossip flow that goes on w within a, the inner workings of, of the church where people are friends and they're ha ha in your face and then and then turning around and then when we're performing it the choir just talks back and forth just talking to each other just to create that that whole animated thing that gossip can put in the air we were uh, fortunate this time. The Clayton White singers, they come together at a very high musical level. <laughs> Lee Smith, he was our regular bassist for maybe eight, nine years straight. So he's been our bassist every time. The dynamic outdoors is one of our postgraduates from our youth ensemble of the Philadelphia Cliff Club performing arts, mm -hmm. Jaleel Shaw. The one that we pick has been loyal to us every time we've done this is the trumpeter, uh, Terrell Stafford, uh, who's a magnificent musician. They call him when Winton can't make certain things. He heads the uh, Temple University Jazz Orchestra. rely on him since the other personnel uh, changes due to their schedules. What's special about that night, it's an overwhelming feeling that I feel with much humility that once again, I'm getting the opportunity to share. Age dictates certain things of wisdom, hopefully, and to mellow out and to, uh, for acceptance and of giving. All of these things happen if you live long enough. And, and that is what has happened with me, with my music. It's sharing the music, being thankful that I've been blessed with whatever I've been blessed with to produce, to produce it. That night is extra special because of all of those things to share. Self-accomplishment, thanksgiving, and praise.
of the world, have an organ, excellent award. Which truly was the recipient of this award in 1972. That's how bad this lady was. You don't even know about this yet. Okay. That's one of the most prestigious organizations of Philadelphia, the Pro Arts Society. If we ever get it to where we want it, with like 120 voices, a full orchestra, orchestration, symphony, 105 piece instrumental, and uh, with all the appointments, uh, I think this spiritual and very talented lady, who happens to be my wife and mother of my children, uh, will be brought to the forefront like it really should be.